Magandang umaga mga kapatid. Today, I would like to talk to you about the Word of God that can be found in Amos chapter 4, verse 6. And I will read, I gave you absolutely nothing to eat in all your cities, a shortage of food in all your communities, yet you did not return to me, says the Lord of hosts. There is a great debate. Marami mga nagdidibate, nag-argumento, nagtatalo. Ito daw bang mga trahedya, mga kalamidad, itong COVID-19. Ito daw ba ay galing sa Diyos o galing sa demonyo? At hanggang nabubuhay ang mga simbahan, hindi matatapos ang argumento na ito. Walang gustong magpatalo. But what we must be careful to avoid is the tendency to make direct links from everything that happens to either God or the devil. Hindi lahat na nangyayari ay pwede nating ibintang sa Diyos or sa Diablo. The good have no immunity from pain. Ang mabubuti, hindi sila exempted sa mga pagsubok. In fact, the book of John, in the book of John said, Jesus said, in this world, you shall suffer tribulation. But take courage, I have overcome the world. That's what Jesus said. We do not live in a painless universe. As we know, there are many tragedies in life and in the world caused by human incompetence, human stupidity, and human callousness. May mga taong kulang talaga sa kakayahan. May mga taong dahil sa kanilang katangahan at dahil sa kawalan ng puso, maraming bagay ang nagaganap sa ating daigdig na hindi natin pwedeng ibintang sa Diyos. Pwede nating sabihin that not every natural disaster is attributable directly to God. Yet, within God's providential oversight, such events can serve His sovereign purpose. Na kahit anong masama ang nangyari sa daigdig at sa ating buhay, pwedeng magsilbing bahagi ng layunin na makakatulong sa isang mataas na layunin ng Diyos. Illness or tragedy may drive us to seek God as we have never done before. At pwede nating itanong sa Panginoon, Panginoon, are you telling me something? Meron ka bang sinasabi sa akin? At kailangan nating malaman, mga kapatid, na hindi lahat ng masasama ay palaging masama. In fact, one time, there was a question from his disciple. They brought a little boy. They asked Jesus, Jesus, who is to blame? Is it the parents of this boy or this boy about having these physical defects? And Jesus said, no. No one is to be blamed. I made him like that so that out of his defect, God's glory is displayed. Paul, he once asked God to, to remove, to take away the thorns of the flesh. But Jesus, God responded to him. And, and God said that my power is perfected out of your weakness. My grace is sufficient for thee. Ang aking biyaya, ang aking awa ay sapat na sa iyong kahinaan. You see, mapapansin mo, mga kapatid, that every time may mga kahinaan tayo, everything na may mga kakulangan sa ating buhay, everything na may magulo sa ating buhay, God is there. Maybe God is not the cause of pain, but out of that pain, out of that darkness, God can move and God can make all things beautiful in His time. And God said that all things work together for good. Na ang lahat ng bagay na masasama, pwede kong gawin yan. Na ang magiging kalalabasan na yan ay mas mabuti pa. Look at the life of David. You, would, you will read that, the, that, 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 that David fell into temptation to commit adultery 
and he took Bethsaida or Bathsheba. He even arranged for the death of Bathsheba's husband, Uriah. But you see that out of the mistakes, out of the errors, out of the misdemeanor and iniquity of King David, God used, God turned around and used that pain, used that sin to have destroyed King David, that wrong relationship. But out of that wrong relationship came out Solomon. King Solomon came and he was the son of Bathsheba from King David. Pero pag nakita mo ang book of Matthew, pag nakita mo ang book of Matthew, yung, yung lipi ni Jesus, kaya makikita mo, King David, Solomon, hindi sinabi si Absalom. The son of King David was Absalom. But no, God did not, did not, did not choose, God did not choose Absalom to get the chronology Yung lipi ni Jesus hindi nang galing kay Absalom. It came from Solomon, the son out of wedlock. Isang anak sa pagkakamali at pagkakasala. Ngunit ginamit ng Diyos ang mga bagay na yon to turn things around. And I believe mga kapatid that today, whatever pain that you are suffering, whatever disease or illness that you are suffering, tandaan mo kapatid na may ginagawa ang Diyos. That God is sending the healing on your way. That God is doing something. That God is making all things beautiful. Tandaan mo lang kapatid na kapag umasa ka sa Panginoon, ang lahat ng bagay ay magkakalakit para sa ikabubuti. Tandaan mo kapatid, ng Diyos na ating pinaglilingkuran ay hindi nagbabago kailanman. Aasa tayo sa Panginoon at patuloy tayong mananampalataya na ang mga bagay na ito ay magaganap. Mga kapatid, na itong mga bagay na ito ay magaganap para sa ikabubuti. Na itong mga bagay na ito, mga kapatid, ay nangyayari sapagkat ang Panginoon ay naaawa. Ang Panginoon, ang mga bagay na ito, pwede mong sabihin, be sure, mga kapatid, be sure na kapag nangyari ang mga bagay na ito, trahedya, sakit, karamdaman, kamatayan. Tandaan mo, kapatid, na sa gitna ng lahat ng ito, kayang gumawa ang Panginoon ng mas dakila mas mabuti sapagkat siya ay maawaing Diyos. Paalam kapatid. God bless you.